Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Tearing the country apart over the Bush Cheney anti terror policies. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The far left media has succeeded in convincing the world that the USA is a nation of torture, a country that sadistically inflicts pain on both the innocent and the guilty. Well, these people at the New York Times and NBC News should be very proud. They've damaged their own country in a disgusting display of propaganda and outright lies. It all began with Abu Ghraib, a story featured more than 50 times on the front page of the New York Times. The abuses at Abu Ghraib were revolting and unacceptable. The soldiers that committed those crimes shamed their country and their uniforms. That is the truth. But where was the perspective, ladies and gentlemen? 99% of American military people have performed brilliantly under tremendous pressure. There has not been a fighting force in world history that has been as restrained under enormous pressure as our military has been. But does the world understand that? Yeah, mistakes were made at Guantanamo Bay and other places while suspected terrorists were being interrogated. And every one of those mistakes should be examined. But those things happen in every war by every nation. Again, the far left press is treating America like a pinata, whacking it at every opportunity because they don't like Bush and Cheney. Now there's an insane call for fishing expeditions to find something that will lead to prosecuting the president and vice president. Again, this is poison, a destructive act toward America. Bush and Cheney protected Americans after 9-11, and they did it fast, so mistakes were inevitable. But they stopped the killing on American soil, did they not? To his credit, President-elect Obama wants no part of the radical left jihad to tear the country down. He says he's looking forward, and that is a smart thing to do. But Talking Points despises, despises those who, in the name of ideology, want to weaken the country, putting us all in danger. As loyal Americans, we owe the benefit of the doubt to leaders in a time of war, and both Bush and Cheney say flat out they did their duty. We don't torture. Look, you're sitting there, you capture Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He's the guy that ordered the September the 11th attacks. And uh, we, we want to know what he knows in order to protect the United States of America. And I got legal opinions that said whatever we were going to do was legal. And we were very careful in terms of how we proceeded to make certain that we had the authority that was needed to do what we did. The idea at this stage that you'd go back and try to prosecute somebody for that, I think, is, is uh, not sound. It's also on American. Finally, all Americans want the economy fixed and their families kept safe from terror killers. That should be Obama's primary focus. Those who continue to run this country down and divert attention from those things should be condemned by the rest of us. Condemned. And we're going to name names coming up in the future, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to stop right now.